first talk is uncertainty of clustering in market networks um, from uh, Professor Valeri Kaliagin. Uh, he has done some seminal, seminal work on uh, random, random variable network and uh, a particular application of those is uh, the market graph. So take it away. You have uh, 20 minutes, maybe 15 uh, okay. talk and plus uh, questions at the end. Okay, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pierre. And uh, I would like to thank the organizers for organizing a such interesting and useful meeting. Uh, uh, I am Valery Kalyagin from Laboratory of Algorithm and Technologies for Network Analysis, uh, High School of Economics in Nizhny Novgorod, Russian Federation. And the topics of my talk is uncertainty of clustering in market network. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, just uh, it was already repeated many times what is uh, clustering. And um, uh, important for us is that we will consider a weighted graph. And um, uh, for a weighted graph, uh, uh, there is a difference with unweighted graph in defining uh, what uh, does it mean strong uh, connection or weak connection. And um, what I would like to emphasize that in clustering, uh, we don't know the ground truth. And from this point of view, any algorithm, clustering algorithm, has uh, a priori the same value uh, as another one. We, we cannot say one algorithm is better than another one once we don't have uh, this uh, ground truth. But we will see later on that it is possible uh, from some point of view to have such a separation between algorithms in the equality. And I would like to discuss it later. Uh, what is a stock market network in the simplest uh, setting? You consider a certain number of stocks, uh, and um, it's a big N, and this is a network can be considered as a complete weighted graph with N nodes, and we associate nodes with the stocks, and weight of ages are given by some similarity measure uh, between stocks, and very often it is a uh, correlation similarity, but not only. There are many actually many different approaches how to measure similarities between stocks. And uh, uh, there is a recent uh, survey on the topics, uh, review of two decades of correlation, hierarchy, network and clustering and financial market, where you can find uh, all history of the topics development and very large bibliography uh, on the topics. Uh, important is to emphasize that there is a large literature in this area with different directions for investigation and practical applications. We consider uh, for uh, such a model, uh, we suggest to use a probabilistic model for a stock market network, which we call in general a random variable network. And this is a pair of random vector and measure of pairwise dependence or association between random variables. And once we define this component of this pair, X and gamma, uh, we can construct a complete weighted graph with n node, and also node are associated with random variables, and weights of ages uh, will be given by the value of this measure of association. Important is uh, that we have two uh, uh, component random vector with some distribution and measure of uh, dependence of or association between them. Um, as example, where this model can be applied, probabilistic model, is a stock market network. It's very close to uh, Markowitz model of uh, return in stock markets, um, Jenko expression network, brain network, 
climate network and some others. For example, for gene co-expression network, not respond to a gene, and weight of an H is given by a co-expression co -expression relationship uh, between uh, these genes. And uh, this relationship can be measured by different uh, correlations. Uh, uh, and uh, I mentioned Pearson, Kendall, Fechner, or maybe some other. Some more details about this um, model can be found in our a recent book, uh, which I cite here. And um, what is a clustering in a random variable network? Uh, what we have as input, we have observations, and we need to identify clusters by these observations, clusters in uh, the network by this observation. And the model of observations in our case is a sample, the simplest model, sample from the distribution of the random vector x, x. And uh, what we understand uh, as uncertainty or reliability of the clustering, uh, how different are clusters obtained by observations? Because we have a sample from a distribution, and uh, for each sample we have uh, its own clustering structure, and uh, uncertainty in this setting is uh, how different are these cluster structure uh, for different uh, sample of observation. And uh, already it can be noted that this can be a new measure of quality of clustering algorithm in general, because uh, if one clustering algorithm has a um, uh, S smaller, less uh, uncertainty than another one, it can be considered like a, uh, has a preference in uh, in clustering in the network. This is a uh, some interesting aspect of uh, this uh, uncertainty uh, discussion in this case. Uh, now we can uh, define a loss function which is a difference between two partitions. And uh, there are many ways how to define a difference between two partitions. In general, it is defined by similarity uh, rather than difference uh, between two partitions. And uh, uh, what we will use, uh, it, many different measure uh, for clustering comparison can be used. We use a RAND index adjusted trend index, mutual information, and uh, adjusted mutual information to compare two partitions, uh, just to evaluate, to uh, measure uh, uncertainty of clustering. And uh, for adjusted trend index and adjusted mutual information, one uh, value equal to one is a complete coincidence of partitions, and value equal to uh, zero it's a coincidence by chance. There is a reference where you can find a very good description of all measures for comparison of clustering in general. And also, we need to define, to consider some clustering algorithms. We consider three, a very naive threshold threshold method of maximum spanning tree clustering, which is equivalent to single linkage clustering, uh, some advanced algorithm, which is a spectral clustering, and uh, for a large network, uh, already mentioned uh, at this conference, Lubin algorithm, which is a heuristic to uh, maxi modularity maximization. Uh, each algorithm has uh, will have some property with respect to uncertainty of identifying clustering in a market or random variable network. And we will see how different they are, in, in fact. Threshold method is very simple. You just cut edges with a um, weight less or equal to a given threshold up to the moment where your complete weighted graph is separated into uh, connected components, and it gives you two clusters. You can continue to cut edges less or, with a weight less or equal to a given threshold, and 
get three clusters, uh, four clusters, and so on. It's hierarchical uh, clusterization. It can be also uh, made in a different way. You can calculate in the complete weighted graph maximal, maximum spanning tree and cut a weak stage. It will give you two clusters. Cut the next weak, weakest age will give you three clusters and so on. So it's really very simple and naive clustering algorithm. And the methodology to evaluate uncertainty of clustering is we fix distribution of the random vector X. Um, we apply clustering algorithm to the graph gamma with the uh, value of measure of association between component of the vector X. After that, we have a sample of the size n from distribution, calculate estimation of this measure of association of uh, uh, correlation in general, and uh, apply clustering algorithm to this sample uh, graph, and uh, using uh, measure of difference between two partitions, calculate similarity, and evaluate expected value of this uh, two uh, measures of similarity, adjusted RAND index and adjusted mutual information. Uncertainty can be measured like one minus expected value of RE or one minus expected value of AMI. And expected value is a measure of similarity between partitions in general. Uh, to test uh, this methodology, we suggest to use a so-called correlation block model. Um, we uh, correlation matrix is defined uh, is defined by uh, blocks. In, in inside in each block, we have the same value of correlation, uh, which are uh, on the main diagonal RII, and uh, uh, there is some symmetry. C I J transposed equals C I G C J I, and uh, this is in general. Uh, Correlation block model. Uh, what it is, what how it is looks in the case of two blocks with a different block size, which we can see here. And uh, it is easy to define uh, to identify the cases where the matrix is a positive definite. Uh, this is just um, relations which give you positive definiteness of the matrix. There is an interesting paper of Archakov and Hansen where the block uh, correlation matrix, covariance, in fact, matrices are investigated much deeper and they give uh, general conditions of positive definiteness of such a matrix. In our cases, uh, it, it is easy. Uh, to prove this, we don't need very strong arguments, it's rather straightforward. And now to evaluate uncertainty of clustering, uh, we consider two aspects of associated random variable network. First, we consider how the uncertainty of clustering is related with distribution of the ve vector X. And uh, in general, uh, uh, the first uh, moment we take Gaussian distribution and uh, in general uh, much larger class but natural generalization of Gaussian distributions are so-called elliptical distributions and uh, we can take different measures of similarity uh, we consider three of them just as example Pearson, Kendall and Fechner correlation and we know that there is a connection between uh, such correlations for elliptical distribution, for Gaussian distribution, and also for elliptical distribution. What does it mean, uh, this relation? In fact, it is monotonic relation between, for example, Kendall uh, and uh, Pearson correlations. And it means that, for example, maximum spanning tree will be the same in two networks. In network with a uh, Pearson correlation as measure of association and in network with Kendall or Fechner correlation um, with uh, as a measure of association. And it means that, for example, for threshold uh, clustering, you will, you will 
have the same clusters once correlations are the same in a different uh, once we take different correlations sorry uh, for uh, the same ne uh, network with different distributions and um, now we go to the numerical experience just to see what we can get uh, first is a gaussian distribution with a dimension of vector equal to 40 20 plus 20 uh, Correlation inside diagonal block R in is uh, 0 0.8. A correlation between blocks R out is uh, less or equal to this value. And uh, what we can see, we see different algorithms. Uh, this is a case of uh, maximal sp maximum spanning tree algorithm. This is a case of spectral clustering, normalized spectral Cluster, uh, normalized spectral clustering is in red and green is a Luven algorithm. Uh, what we can observe here, it's very close, in fact, to the case of so-called um, stochastic block model uh, well known in uh, random graph um, um, theory. Uh, so-called um, phase transition in some sense. Uh, let's have a look and dis describe this. Uh, up to the moment where uh, R out is uh, small enough with respect to R in, we have a perfect identification of uh, cluster structure in block, uh, in correlation block model. But after uh, some uh, time when R out is uh, close to this extreme value 0, 0,8, because when a route is equal to 0, 8, we have uh, no blocks, we have no cluster structure in this case. And uh, it means that in this case, we don't have uh, any clusters. But if a route is less, stronger, less uh, than uh, R in, we have a cluster structure. And uh, the best algorithm to identify the cluster structure in this case is normalized spectral clustering algorithm. This is a, what we can observe from these experiences. Uh, once we, uh, we can repeat the same experience, but fixing uh, average degree, and not fixing a route R and uh, making a variable R in, but fixing average degree in, the, in this uh, model, in this network, and we see the same picture, in fact. Okay. Also, once we go to another distribution, which is, uh, for example, student distribution, uh, the all algorithm failed to recover uh, really a cluster structure in this case. Uh, we can see it on this. Uh, we see that uh, almost immediately once R or uh, R out is going to approach some critical value, we see that all algorithms have, have a, uh, not very good behavior with respect to identifying clustering. Uncertainty is growing. This is similarity, which we see uh, over these examples. Uh, when we consider student distribution, which is a case of um, uh, elliptical distribution with the same correlations, uh, Pearson correlations and uh, as a consequence the same Fechner and Kendall correlations, we see that uh, with respect to networks, identifying clusters in uh, Kendall correlations has uh, advantages with respect to other networks, especially with respect to classical Pearson correlation uh, network. And um, uh, another important case, important observation is that we will consider um, a mixture of two distributions. We can observe that uh, all, um, all uh, algorithms are very sensitive to the change of distribution, Expect, except uh, in the case of Fechner correlation network, and this can be, can be proved theoretically, we can observe that uh, in uh, 
Technor Correlation Network, Clustering, Uncertainty is not changing when you change distributions. And I will skip maybe this one. And also after this example of uh, test example of uh, correlation block model, uh, we can come back to the real market, evaluate um, uncertainty. In fact, this is a similarity adjusted trend index uh, of clustering. Uh, uncertainty uh, is one minus the similarity of clustering in different net in uh, this is a Dow Jones index for American uh, nice stock market and uh, we can see what is important to observe here that in, in fact there is no such a relation between quality of algorithms as it was in the case of uh, correlation block model where the cluster structure was more uh, clear. Uh, the reason is, may, there are many reasons to explain it. Uh, you see different value of um, uh, uncertainty of clustering. And the reason is, there is, maybe there is no cluster structure at all. And the algorithm show you different behavior because there is no cluster structure. Another reason is maybe our approach is not um, appropriate because after the lecture of uh, Santo Fortunato, I understand that, in fact, we have to consider differently uh, weighted graph for clustering, and especially complete weighted graph. Maybe we need before define the structure and after uh, look on the clustering or for another things. But it is just uh, observation to be developed. And uh, to finish, what is interesting to see, to try to investigate in this case, is the phase transition phenomena, which is well known in uh, stochastic block model in the random graph theory. Uh, what is the best algorithm to the phase transi transition detection? And uh, how to construct robust and efficient clustering algorithm with respect to uncertainty of clustering. So I think that's uh, all. Thank you very much. Sorry, I have 21 minutes. Thank you very much. Uh